Hello and welcome, I am Radio and today I'm going to do a prize breakdown of the Battle Forces. I've said my opinion on them, I've said my piece, I'm not one who repeats himself, so I won't be doing that again, no matter how much I want to. Now, I'm going to start with the World Eaters. Now, the World Eaters is the most simplest. All the Combat Patrol boxes, by the way, are £140, which is alright, I mean, they look good for it. I'm still not a fan of, I still think it's highly overpriced for one of them. But yeah, so £140 each, so we can actually work out with saving straight away. Now, we'll start with the World Eaters, because that's actually the easiest one to work out. Angron is £100, Corn Berserkers are £40, so there you go, that's your money there, it's those two. So you're getting the £8 for nothing, and they're £37.50 each, so your saving straight away is £75. It's not a bad saving, to be honest with you. And like I said, you're pretty much paying for Angron and the Berserkers. And if you want to get a second box, you could you'll make a profit if you just sell Angron for half price. And next we have the Tyranids. The Norton Queen emissary is thirty uh, seventy pounds. The Hive Tyrant or the Ring Hive Tyrant is thirty seven fifty, and the Gene Sealers are thirty two fifty. That makes your one hundred and forty pounds straight straight away. So you're getting two squads of Hormigans for free, and they are thirty pounds each. And so you're saving sixty pounds. So you're saving 65, 75 on the first one and 60 on the Tyranids. So it's not too bad. Again, it's a nice saving. And you know, you've got a nice box there. So yes, we're going to probably see about that as your average of 60 quid saving. Next is the Space Marines. Well, the Assault Intercessors and the Outriders are the same price at 37.50. So that's 4 times 37.50, which is £150. 25 for the Captain and £30 for the ATV. £205 altogether. So, I mean, this is one of them. You're, you're basically getting the Assault Captain and the ATV for free. And that's about it. I mean, you're getting some money off a, probably the Outriders or an Assault Intercessors. Again, it's a £65 saving. Kind of, not much more of a saving than the Tyranids, but it, it is £65. Next up are the green skins. Now this one is one of the lower priced ones, uh, lower valued ones. You have the kill rig, which is eighty-five pounds, which is your big guy. Then you have your uh, dude, which is what's his name, Mazrogs Gagbrad. He's thirty-five, so that brings you up to one hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, so you got the Squig Hog boys. They're forty, so it's one hundred and sixty. And you have your uh, beast uh, snaggers, which are thirty-five, so it's one hundred ninety-five pounds. Uh, it's kind of weird because you're probably just getting the big character Mazrog free here, pretty much, and some money off another unit, and that's it. So it is the worst value one, you know, one of the worst value ones for the boxes, and it's a bit of a shame to be honest with you because also a big one, a big army. It would have been nicer to have another, you know, unit of beast boys in there or something. Now, the Leagues of Otan actually is probably the best value because it is a massive 200. I'll just double check this one. 237.50, I believe. Price. You've got the Hecaton Land Fortress, which is 70. The Champion, which is 25. The Einher Hearth God, which is 5 for 375. 37.50. So 75 plus 25 is 100. 170 plus Grimnir is 197.50 and finally you have the Sagittarius which makes it 137.50 which is almost a hundred pound saving straight away so you're getting at so much you're basically getting your half guard and Grimnir for nothing like you're paying for the Hecaton Land Fortress the Sagittarius and the Champion and you're getting all your units your infantry for absolutely nothing which is fantastic Although I do have to say something, thanks to someone on my other video, I thought Grimnir was a named character, he's not a named character, so two boxes of this should be fine. Uh, so you don't actually have to sell anything, so I made a mistake there. But again, it's always a £97.50 saving, it is fantastic saving on that one alone. Really good, I, I think Votan probably nails it. And finally, last but not least, is of course the Imperial Guard. I do like this one. You have two regal dawns and twenty infantry and your squad command squad as well as your commander. The regal dawns, of course, are a big expensive model here at sixty pound each, make it one hundred and twenty. 
and then you are paying for the command squad. You're getting all that infantry for free. Or you could always say you're getting a squad of um, uh, Rogal Dawn for free. It's a decent box. It's readily brown price. It's valued at 200 and I had this marked up with £207.50. £207. So it's a £67.50 saving. Great saving. Again, it is really good because, like I said, the average saving has been around £50. The lowest is obviously the Orcs with a £55 saving, and the highest has been the Leagues of Votan with a £97.50 saving. So there has been quite a divergence, but they've all averaged. It does average around about £60, so a third, like always. So, yeah, it's not bad. I, I think the problem is with this is there isn't one. I don't know what to say. I, I'm actually quite happy with this. It's a nice saving. It makes you think that you're actually getting something for nothing, which is always good. Especially when it's something big, like a Rogal Dawn tank with the Imperial Guard. Or the, you know... I mean, as when I was looking at this, even the Hecaton Land Fortress is pretty much something you're not going to be paying for. If you look at it that way, at 9750, you're not paying for the Hecaton Land Fortress and the Grimnir. Which is absolutely fantastic, because of having something big in your army is always good but they're always expensive so you're having that ability to say well I want half guard I want two squads of half guard I want my Sagittar and I want the champion that would be an army on its own uh, but you know Hecaton Land Fortress on top for the same price and a Grimnir just really you know really is a nice tempting offer and the other good thing about this is I was looking at some of the prices and like the Angron one there is no reason to actually be able to get that one scout because you can't get it just for Angron, or, you know, for the other models and not Angron because of Angron's price at £100. The saving doesn't quite equal how much his value is. So you can make money if you sell Angron, don't get me wrong, but you're going to have to sell him at a, a certain price, which is 37, uh, 75 plus 40 which is, I can't, my brain's not, £115. You've got to sell them at least, at least uh, £25. And anything after that, you're going to be making a profit. So, selling for 50 quid, you're making £25 on him. So, yeah, you can do it. And it, I, it would be selling with fine. I would have an issue with it. But it does also dissuade people getting the Angron box just to make money. Because you are going to have to, you know, you are, it's going to be hard pressed to sell them all off at a profit. Do we know how much the army costs? We know how much the model costs. You know, it's it's good that way. Again, the Rogal Dawn tanks at sixty pound each. It's fantastic. That's all. You went. Oh, I need two tanks for my army. There you go. One hundred twenty. You buy an extra. You'd buy an extra command squad just to top it off. And there you go. You got you, you got two squads of infantry with it as well. So these have been good boxes value wise, especially where they've been made out. I'm still not happy with that space mean one, but we are talking about the value. Uh, it is good value. Um, I did try to do other boxes and see if I could beat that, like I do every year. And this really is the first year I can't do even a space me one at a cheaper value, or even a better value. And I think that's good that I can't do that. Games Workshop are thinking and looking out and trying to make boxes good value rather than you know trying to gouge us all the time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a uh, back to normal. It's heresy and everything else from now on. I might start running back a few videos and not doing one every day now. My throat's starting to hate me too much. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Whaling Games link down below if you wish to save money on your Warhammer. And when these drops, you'll probably be able to get these cheap there as well. They're up to 20% off and free delivery after £20. And it's always worth trying a different game while you're there. Something like Kings of War or Wild West Exodus. Then there is C-Stick. C-Stick is an arcade pop-up on the 25th and 26th of November in Bath Trading Card Game Shop. Uh, at five pound for a day or eight pound for the weekend. Uh, again, I am not being paid to publicise that. I'm doing someone a favour because I really do believe in it and I think it's a good idea. I do like retro games. There is of course um, for Ben Planet for other geeky stuff, comics, uh, t-shirts, plushies, funky pops, whatever. Okay, it's all there. Toys and it's all at a decent price as well. There is my merchandise, t-shirts, comics, stickers, everything else which else well. Those two links are at the bottom as well. And finally, there's Patreon, which I will be killing once I hit a thousand subscribers and I can monetize my channel because I'm not going to... I don't want to ask you guys for money. YouTube are going to pay me. What's the point? That's a bit greedy. I don't like it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you all again soon. Uh, goodbye.